Thanks for joining me for the last Head of School video message for this academic year. Let me first congratulate everyone on a successful school year. Students, we're proud of you for your work and for your accomplishments and growth this year. I do want to extend a special congratulations to our 76 graduates and their families. We experienced a wonderful commencement on May 26th, celebrating their achievements. We're proud of you and look forward to seeing how you use the gifts and experiences God has given you to be a light in the world. Graduates, welcome to the WC alumni community. I'd like to share some wonderful news with you about the commendations from the visiting team for our reaccreditation efforts with the Association of Christian Schools International, or ACSI. In mid-April, the team came to our school for a four-day visit. They reviewed our self-study report, looked at hundreds of pieces of evidence, visited numerous classrooms, and conducted interviews with students, parents, faculty, staff, and board members. At the end of their visit, several school leaders met with them to hear the outcome of their visit, and I'm pleased to inform you that they have recommended our reaccreditation for another six years. This was our goal, and I'm thrilled we met it. While the ACSI commissioners need to confirm this decision in early June, we're deeply encouraged by the results of the visiting team's report. We're not permitted to share all the commendations or recommendations until the commissioners vote later in June. However, I can say that the team applauded our strategic plan and self-study and provided numerous commendations for work well done. The recommendations they provided were in line with things we already had identified in our self-study and in our strategic plan. I want to express my gratitude to everyone who was a part of this process, especially those of you who participated in the preparations for the visit and work with the visiting team. Once the commissioners finalize their vote, we will share more information about their feedback. We've had a few other noteworthy developments since my last video message. We had great participation with our end of year giving in December. Also, many of you directed part of your state tax liability to the Ohio Christian Education Network's scholarship granting organization, resulting in $144,000 of giving. Additionally, the community participated in helping to fund the K-2 playground through designated giving. As a result of your generosity, our enrollment increase, the implementation of the EdChoice Expansion Scholarship Program, and good fiscal stewardship, we've been able to increase faculty and staff compensation, grant two bonuses to our employees, reduce our debt ahead of schedule, and complete improvement projects such as the K-2 playground. We're deeply grateful for your ongoing support of the school and helping us make some key financial decisions to move the school forward. I also wanna make you aware of an administrative restructuring decision that went into effect on May 28th. With the addition of Jake Ferrier as the Director of Spiritual Formation, this brought the number of my direct reports to 14. I've been consulting with the Board of Directors on the need to restructure for some time and received feedback from the ACSI visiting team to decrease the number of my direct reports to somewhere between five and seven. After reviewing peer school structures and researching best practices, I announced several structural changes to the staff. These included the following. Dr. Erica Van Dopp has been promoted to the role of assistant head of school. She will continue to oversee key areas such as school safety and will now directly supervise both principals, the director of teaching and learning, the intervention director, and the arts director. Randy Steckel, our director of finance, will now supervise the director of facilities and the director of food services. Polly Shoemaker, our director of advancement, will oversee our director of admissions. Erica, Randy, and Polly will be part of the executive council along with Bridget Robel, our human resources director, Tony Earp, our athletic director, and Jake Ferrier, our director of spiritual formation. These changes situate us well to achieve our strategic planning priorities and goals, will enhance our systems of accountability, and will allow me to focus more on development functions and external relations. Now please allow me to share an update on our efforts to review our current safety policies in response to the deeply troubling news regarding allegations of abuse by a former coach and teacher. We've begun the review process by appointing two task forces one is focused on reviewing our safety and security operations. The other task force is addressing human resource practices. 
also have appointed an independent external expert to review the work of each of these groups to ensure high levels of accountability and to promote professional standards. While these groups continue their work into the summer, we ask that you continue to love, support, and pray for all who have been impacted by these tragic events. We will continue to provide updates on this work as we look at adding more safeguards to promote an environment in which our students can flourish. Also, let me ask you to join us in prayer in one more regard. The school commissioned each of our recent graduates with a copy of the Bible during our graduation activities. While some of our alumni may have received the Bible as they graduated years ago, we intentionally and purposefully made the decision to give each graduate a personalized copy of God's Word. It was my honor to inscribe the student's name, the graduation date, and a specific scriptural reference to a verse in the Bible that has spoken to me deeply over the years. The verse I wrote in each Bible was Micah 6.8, which says, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Would you join me in prayer that our graduates' lives would be marked by acting justly, loving mercy, and walking humbly with God? The world needs God's justice, His mercy, and people who will walk with God by pointing to Him and not themselves. I hope you have a blessed summer. I look forward to seeing you again in August.